Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these seed beads and bicons elegant earrings. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell because I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and in this way you will be notified when I do and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Please like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough for these actions. Check description for full list of materials, other useful resources, matching bracelet link and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button. Thank you so much for watching. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what we're using for this tutorial are three colors of 11-0 seed beads, silver, red and black. Here I'm also using bicons that are four millimeters and here I use earring findings, liver bags, you could use others of your choice. This is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. Uh, this is size 10 beading needle and these are scissors and now I'm going to take a little bit more than half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and in my first step what I'm going to pick up are 12 beads in total. Okay you could pause on this frame and pick them up. Now what I want to do is slide those down I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I make it by take my tail thread and go twice through the loop I'm making okay like this and then I'm going to make one more knot and I pull then in my next step guys what I want to do is to go in this direction and exit out of a red bead and I'm going to pick up three red beads I skip the black one and I go through the following red three reds skip the next one that's on my way the black one and go through the red again Okay, then another three. Three again. And these are the last three beads I'm taking and I'm going in the very first red bead that I started this row from. Now this row is ready. In my next step guys what I want to do is exit through one of those beads that are sticking out the most. The central one of the three that I added in my previous step. Take three silvers and go in the next one that is sticking out. Three silvers again. Repeat the same thing. Again three. And I'm going to repeat this three more times until the end of this row. I'm just connecting in these steps the bit that are sticking out. In my next step guys what I want to do is go through the first 
of those three beads that I added in my previous step, take three silvers again and go in the third silver. This is what I have now. In my next step, I'm going through the following two beads, the red and the first of the next three silvers that are coming on my way. Three silvers, go in the third one and then through the next two, so through three in total, silver, red and silver. And I do this just to save time, just to save one movement. Again, three. Exiting out of the first one, I go through the third one and through the next two, so through three beads in total. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay, now this row is ready and what I want to do is go through all of those three beads in this direction. And then I want to go through the next silver. Okay, now I am one silver bead away from this red here in the center. Then I take one bicon and I go in the same place through the second silver count, counting from the center. And then here I go through these two silvers. Again, I'm one silver bead away from this red here. And I take a bicon and go through the second silver here, counting from the center and through the one that is sticking out the most, the central one. Then again at the same place, take one, go here, and I'm going to do this guys until the end of this row. have this. In my next step what I want to do is to exit through one of the bicons and I want to take five of these beautiful silver beads and I go back through the bicon and through the following few beads and I have something like a beautiful loop of beads around my bicon go through the following bike in the same way, take five silver beads, go back through the bike and if you can in one movement through the next two silvers just to save time. Okay I have this. Next bike five again and go like this. And I'm going to continue this guys until the end of this row. I'll do this off camera and I'll be back to show you the result. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video to this part and repeat it from here. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last five beads from this row and now I'm exiting through the middle one 
of those beads that I added in this step, okay? This is the middle one that is sticking out the most. And I'm going to take two red beads and I go in the next two silvers. Then skip the central one of those five that I added in my previous step and go through the next two of them. Then I pull and when I pull this bit like this, this is what I have. Two more of those red beads go here in the central one. And pull like this. Two red beads. Go in the first two silvers. Skip the central one. And go through the following two. And pull this middle one like this. To pop it out. Then two again. Go in the middle silver one that is sticking out the most. Two again. First two silvers. Go like this. Skip the one that's on my way. Go through the following two. Pull it. Like this. Two again. Okay, and I'm going to continue these guys until the end here. Okay, and I'm going to continue these guys until the end here. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video from here and repeat it from this side and then meet me. Okay, my friends, and here I am at the last step where I'm adding my last two red beads from this row. And now what I want to do is go in this direction through all of those beads and exit out of the first red that I have here. Then take two black beads and go in the last red and pull. Now this is what I have. Then again go through all of those beads and exit out of the first red one. Two black beads. Go in the last red. Go through all of those beads aiming for the first red. And take two black beads. Okay, and continue this until this point and I'll meet you there. Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last two black beads from this row. And what I want to do next is reach again these two black beads to make the last additional step. I'm going to take three silver beads. And I go back like this. Okay, now this is what I have. In my next step, I want to reach again these black beads that I added. If you cannot go through these beads, you might want to go through the bicon and here. But I don't have problems going.
Okay, and I'm going to continue this off camera until the end and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. Now what I want to do is go in this direction one more time. Here you might use your pliers if needed. And I'm going here at the top and I'm taking one black seed bead, my earring finding and one black seed bead. And as I'm exiting here from this middle bead, I'm going backwards like this in circle. Then I'm going to reinforce this joint. Okay. And after I reinforce it, I will find a place to make a knot, let's say here at the angle. And how I do this, I make a loop, I go once and second time through this loop I've made, I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started the knot from and I pull tight and then I go through one or two beads in this direction here at the last step I used my pliers only here And then I take my scissors and I cut my thread. Okay guys, and now my elegant seed beads and Bicons earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done. Like if you remember, I have a bracelet matching these earrings and you could do a beautiful set matching them together. You could also check description for a full list of materials, other useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Please like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough guys from this, for these actions. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.